up, people? It's Strident here, and I'm reviewing the DC Showcase Collection. Um, so far, they have only done three of these, and all three of them have been amazing on a whole nother level. I mean, you've had uh, you've had the Spectre, which was the first one. Uh, you see the voice talent in there was Gary Cole from Entourage and uh, Alyssa Milano, and it was really well done. Uh, the second was Jonah Hex. That one was awesome. You had Thomas Jane as Jonah Hex. He was doing a little bit of his Punisher thing, but a little bit more grimy sounding. You had Linda, Linda Hamilton, which was, uh, you know, from the Terminator and Terminator 2, which is uh, Sarah Connor herself. Um, and then you had the Green Arrow, which was awesome. I just saw that one not too long ago. And uh, you had, strangely enough, you had uh, Neil McDonough, which is, he was the uh, Tom Cruise's partner in uh, Minority Report. And strangely enough, this cat was M. Bison in that horrible Legend of Chun Li, that piece of shit. Anyway, he was an awesome Green Arrow. And you had Malcolm McDowell, who, uh, he's always awesome. It doesn't matter what he does, he's always awesome. Um, but the DC Showcase flicks are, they're, they're the shit, for lack of a better phrase, you know, excuse my French, whatever. Um, they're awesome. They seem to try to be a little bit more hardcore than your basic DC uh, animated universe uh, cartoons. And uh, they almost feel like they should just go ahead and take this direction and make movies to begin with. But who knows? Maybe that's what's on the, on the horizon. Um, I just, I'm amazed at these, these shorts. I mean, I'm already amazed at the DC animated universe in general. Everything from, obviously, Batman the Animated Series all the way to Batman Brave and the Bold. Everything they do is nice. I mean, it's got its own little flavor to it, but it's all well done. The art direction is superb. Nothing looks, uh, uh, what's the word, juvenile. I mean, even when they mean for it to look or, or to appeal to a younger age, the artwork and the design uh, sensibilities are just, they're, they're top notch. I mean, it literally kicks the shit out of everything Marvel has been putting out as far as animated features go. I mean, in my opinion, the best Marvel animated feature was Doctor Strange. And I'm like, Doctor Strange of all people? He's, he's Dr. Strange. Most people have no idea who this guy is, but his animated film, if you haven't seen it, go see it. But this is not a review about that. It's about the DC Showcase films. Um, they are all uh, about to be released. I think it's on November 9th this year. They're going to be released on a collection, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, with the... Uh, Animated short, Superman and Shazam, Return of Black Adam. So that will be the fourth one in the series. Um, I can't wait to see that because that's going to be amazing. So, uh, yeah, man, that just about wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys, uh, if you haven't seen these, I hope you guys get a chance to check them out. Check out the um, animated features. Um, they are amazing. They're top notch. If you're a fan, they're like a godsend for you. Or they'll be a godsend, like they were to me. And um, if you're not a fan, it'll just probably create some love for these characters because they're awesome characters. And just to get a heads up on those, check out Justice League Unlimited. It's probably one of the best cartoons on television or to be you know, created in the last 10 years. And it's totally worth your time. Uh, I'm Strident, and I'm out. Peace.